Greetings and welcome everyone. Hey, thank you for joining me. Scorpio, this is your reading for November 2020. As we settle into preparing ourselves for the end of the year, we can take a quick look at the astrology that is happening in the cosmic skies. We have had a turbulent year full of um, amazing planetary movements and alignments that have gone towards creating the Maya, I think, that you could call 2020. We've had a little bit of a lull over the last few months. Things have been a little bit quieter, but we're now coming back into the next round of eclipse season energies. They start this month in November. So November still has a lot of energy happening within it, and I'll read through that just briefly. Mercury stations direct on the 3rd. On the 11th of November, of course, we have the wonderful 1111 portal. So that is beautiful energies for the month. On the 13th, or it is Friday the 13th, and it's also the day that Mars is going to be stationing direct. On the 28th of November, we have Neptune stationing direct. And on the 30th, we have the full moon and lunar eclipse in Gemini. So that is the beginning of the next eclipse pair. That the second eclipse will be in December on the 14th in the astrological sign of Sagittarius. So you can see how much stuff is going on in November. There's a lot happening. So I think it's still going to be a really full on month for everyone. And for you guys, because this is part of your birthday energy month, a lot of you might feel into this fairly intensely. There's the new moon in Scorpio on the 15th of November. It's a very transformative new moon in the sign of the mysterious Scorpio energy. So I think that you're, we're also going to come under the energy field of the eclipse. And this could be about creative and constructive and being beneficial and to do with communication and travel because that's also what Gemini energies are. So we have a lot going on in November. Now for your reading this month, I, th I did do a little bit of intuitive work at the beginning and I got the number three that came up and I was thinking of three as in like a foundation of a pyramid, three-sided pyramid, which could mean stability or strength or dominion. It could also mean three people involved in something or a triad or a trio of people. It can refer to energies like the Holy Trinity energy as well. I also got the feeling of the sun and a golden color coming in. Also the solar plexus. Also a question mark around Leos. So whether or not there are Leo personalities or people playing a role in your life in the month of November, that could be interesting. And I also got that you could be grounded or feel some firmness or something pulling you down to the ground, like the, the actual physical ground on earth, terra firma. So those are some messages that came in for you. Now I thought this time around we would break the reading down into wealth and abundance, love and relationships, health and then any extra messages that arrive. So let's start with this one. This is for your wealth and abundance sector. Now, of course, this can be in areas to do with your job, career, or your finances, what you're doing with them, how you earn them or spend them, as the case may be, or how they come into your life. So this is for Scorpio, their birthday month. I know that some of you have your birthday in October as well, but the birthday energy is around now for you guys. So this is for your wealth and abundance sector. Let's see what came out for you guys, starting with the one on the left. Oh, how nice. That is the nine of pentacles and it says material harvest. It's known as abundance. It's known as a card of kind of joy and gratitude in particular. He is showing deep gratitude there for the abundance that is coming to his life or the harvest. Now, I think what this could mean for some of you is that you may have been working on something for some time and it could be coming to fruition now. It could be a project you have been involved in or have embarked on or been dreaming up for some time and it is coming into this reality or timeline. Or it might even be something that you've been involved with for a long time 
possibly nine years or longer and it is coming to its final evolution. So this could be a career you've been working in and you might be contemplating moving on or there could be some reward coming from the hard work and due diligence that you've put in. But what a great card to start for your wealth and abundance reading with this beautiful nine and the gratitude that comes with it. So somehow there's a, there's a feeling for, for a lot of you of this thankfulness around your wealth and abundance sector in life. So it might be that you're feeling satisfied or happy with your current job or your career or what your finances are doing or how you've earned them or the investments you've been making. We see the crown chakra coming in. Now this is very much a card about wisdom and ideas and concepts and being able to be open to the creative side of life. So for a lot of you, a degree of creativity may be involved in your sector of wealth and abundance. Now remember abundance can be any form in life. It can be abundance of happiness or um, of love or good health or friendships or money or anything along those lines. So to do that and to receive what you are seeking, be open to receiving ideas that come in through the crown chakra area, which is the connection to the cosmic energies or collective conscious or higher self or spirit guides. You know, there's a lot of different names for perhaps the same type of vibrational frequencies that we can connect to. But when we do and we come into our intuitive ability, we're quite often more open to being expansive and connective and cosmic and downloading powerful information that can take us forward in areas that we are seeking to find answers to. And given this is the wealth and abundance, this is where you guys might bloom and blossom around this time. And I also think this makes sense given it's your birthday month as well because you chose to come in to experience this life as a Scorpio person and to experience what the Scorpio offers. And that is a deep, deep creative psychic connection and ability and awareness. So the deeper you guys tap in, I think the more material harvest and ideas will unfold for you. Oh my gosh. Look. Now you've got the Ace of Pentacles, and this is your wealth and abundance sector. Boom! What are you guys doing? So the Aces are very much about the beginning of ideas, and interestingly enough, that was the Nine heading towards the end of a proposition or idea or cycle, and then you've got this Ace. As if you have come full circle and you are about to prepare for something new or in a new direction. And again, this could be ideas that have come in. This could also be a partnership that is involved somehow. Even though those hands could be representative of one person, they may be a partnership that is forming that could be around your wealth and abundance sector. So this prosperity that's coming, it seems very connected to the material harvest as well. So I do think this is new potential gratitude or thankfulness or ideas or concepts or offers coming your way that open up and blossom and take you into the realm of 2021 as we head into it. Some of you might have been strategizing for some time or thinking about how you would like to move forward or what it is in your dreamscapes or what ideas or concepts you've got. And if you look at the, these three cards, there's this huge degree of this reddish hue. I know this is more pink or cerise, but it's got a reddish tinge to the whole lot. And that's that whole base chakra energy portal, which is to do with our finances, our home, our tribe, our job, our careers, our groundedness. And I said to you guys that I had the feeling of you being grounded and having firmness. And I said terra firma. And we also see here, there's, there's the soil here, and there's this grounded idea in the soil. So think and deploy yourself into your creative aspects and be prepared for some sort of expansion. Now this can very much be at the formation of new business concepts or ideas coming in, at new offers coming your way to do with uh, jobs or an 
pay, a pay rise or a promotion within a company, the starting up of a new business, being offered a new job career opportunity as well. Wow, you guys, that is awesome. It really rocks. Let's see for the next section, which was love and relationships for Scorpio for November 2020. First one out. And we have got rest and rejuvenate. So it's not too exciting in terms of starting our love and relationships. Perhaps there is something within a relationship sector of yours that does need some rest or some rejuvenation. Maybe there's been some stresses. In fact, when I say maybe, I'm sure there have because all of us have found stresses or stressors throughout the year. And of course, relationships have taken a bit of a beating this year. We've had this added external pressures that have come in to create tension, I think, within relationships. But we've also had some really difficult planetary alignments that have also helped create a little bit of tension within relationships at all levels. So this could be your love partner, you know, your intimate partner. It could be within families like siblings or children and parents or grandparents, cousins, within your community or even within your job. So I'm seeing there that the first card we got out was to rejuvenate somehow a relationship and put some peace and calm energy into it. It may be that there had been uh, some turbulence that was floating around and we have just come out of a period in October where we haven't had the best alignment with Venus and it's very much about taking it easy with relationships and not pushing through them. So this energy may be uh, still transmuting itself through November for you guys. The door to personal healing and happiness is your next one that's come out with love and relationships. So I think these two go hand in hand in many ways because it feels as though if you apply some rejuvenation or you take some time to rest, think about things, apply some calm and peace and you know meditation or some form of relaxation into a relationship scenario, and bear in mind this could be any relationship we're talking about, then it feels as if there could be some healing that comes through for this and leading into happiness. So again, this could be the way you handle situations that might be cropping up with people and they could be work related. They could be due to financial constraints or issues or thoughts that you've had going on. They might be due to community uh, situations that are occurring. They might be interfamily related or even your own deep personal relationship with another person. But remember too that we have a relationship with ourselves first and foremost. So some of you may just feel the need for rest and time out and rejuvenating your body, mind and spirit, which could also be beneficial. More money, guys. So <laughs> this one, this man is giving you money. I mean, who is he? He's a quite an interesting looking guy and I sometimes think of him as a Libran and I'm not sure why. But if he's holding that money for you, is he associated with all of the money up here and this wealth that's going on and these ideas and harvest and new beginnings? Could he be someone who is offering you a job or a business opportunity or a partnership? Or is he like an accountant or a tax man who gives you back a refund of some sort? Or is he a potential new partner who comes into your life who may be associated with money or who may be a grounding force in your monetary realm as well? These cards here are not giving a straight out answer for the love and relationship sector, but I do think... I'm wondering if this is more about potentially, it might be that the, these two on the left are your intimate or close relationship that may have needed some healing time, some downtime, some quiet time or retreat, going away for a retreat for the two of you, which might be like a small break somewhere. But this guy here has me thinking that he's associated with your career somehow for most of you. 
he could be a potential new partner coming in but let's see one more here for Scorpio's love and relationship sector oh the garden and the gate now we've had so much of this for you as well and again we're back in terra firma this grounded sensation and when I say grounded I don't by any means think that that's negative or that it's holding you back in any way I think being grounded gives a great degree of strength and opportunity and it, it actually activates the base chakra which is what all of this is potentially up here this monetary or financial benevolence and this gratitude coming for abundance and harvest in your life but when we come back here to the relationships we're feeling as though there's some movement or healing or growth or expansion and I think it's coming from yourself and it's a realization or a growing or an awakening that may be occurring now some of you may have felt this at the spiritual level and others of you may be feeling it more at a at a physical level between people in your life between yourself and others that you have these relationships with but I'm getting this message that you are opening some sort of door and you are going to experience a greater freedom or a greater expansion or insight or awareness. She holds this key around her neck here and it's the key to this little gate but this door has also got like a key on it. It seems as though she's going to have the opportunity to open this door or this gate and it will bring her more freedom or happiness yet it's still associated with the grounded sense of life so I think that it has to do with family ties in particular maybe it might go back in time to things that might have bound you or held you capture or it could have even been karmic related issues that might be being relieved released freed up or you might understand them more or you might have achieved some goal through the period of this year that has allowed you to see more or be freer quite deep messages that are coming here it's not this is complicated and of course that makes sense because we're talking about you guys we're talking about Scorpio often your relationships are complicated they're not straightforward they've got a lot of ties that interlink into different energy fields and different systems within you so I think they're saying there is complication around a whole lot of relationship stuff that is going on here and it's merging into deeper fields of you and I think it's releasing you from something that may have held you captive you could feel an expansion coming in and again this is just a general reading so for each of you it's probably going to be different as to how you perceive it feel it anticipate it understand it anyhow let's take this deck and we are looking at health now from here so this is for Scorpio for health for November their birthday month what is in store for them or what is important for them to focus on understand I'm thinking that health could be really on your mind because of that card here that came out the rest and rejuvenation you found it St Anthony of Padua you may be finding this new health kick you may be finding new energy new enthusiasm new exuberance have faith that it's coming for you that your health is taking a role for the better that it is moving forward if you have been in a place where there hasn't been much uh, good health play music since Cecilia so music is a very profound form of healing and enabling us to grow and to move and quite often we don't anticipate its strength in our life so for instance you the, if we go back a few steps the first thing in the universe was sound it was the big bang from that sound was created all life 
and music is sound so it has a profound ability to heal us at many different levels so it may not just be playing music but it, as in strumming it or being in a, an orchestra or a band yourself but it may be listening to music and there are many different types meditational music harmonics sound frequencies chakra music energies and all of these can help to bring healing to the body at various different levels physical emotional and spiritual so music might play a real role in you feeling into a sense of peace or understanding or awareness or awakening or tolerance and I'm thinking here too some of you have an intolerance to things like uh, stomach intolerances or food intolerances or allergies and you might have been looking for something to help solve it or you've needed faith around it and this one here you found it if you look deep enough or you try new modalities you're going to find something that benefits your health this month coming and because this year believe me has been a year of opportunities even though we may not have seen it right from the get-go because we've had to look doubly hard past all the angst to find the the silver lining in the clouds what else is in here for Scorpio for their health this is for Scorpio emotions eating healthfully and having confidence so having confidence and faith are very similar this is um, Archangel Michael who's come in to help build your confidence now that makes sense to me because I said in the beginning I felt that you may have been given strength of some sort I also felt the solar plexus may play a role and the Sun might be involved and these are all things that are brought about through having confidence and I feel that the first cards that arrived for you spanned great confidence coming in this one here symptom femur if you have had emotions that have been going up and down which I think a lot of people have for 2020 she is very good to call upon for easing anxiety or depression or fear or worry and again having confidence and faith and listening to vibrational music can be very beneficial for the body and the mind in bringing about healing uplifting or removing or easing tensions or fear or anxiety if you have had any of that I am seeing more positivity within this reading especially in terms of your finances and your career sector and opportunities and your creativity so what was the third card we had eating healthfully Saint Raphael the Archangel as well so some of you it might be beneficial to change your diet up or out to eat plant-based diets or to um, even have days where you have fasting uh, drink plenty of pure water especially spring water if you can include wholesome foods that you are attracted to like you might be attracted to red foods or uh, orange foods or vegetables or you might be attracted to eating or drinking smoothies or green foods so think about that as well in the month of November as being a way of bringing some really positive vibes into your physical and your spiritual essence so that's the main structure of the reading I was just going to do now one last pull of cards to see if there were any other messages and I think we will use this deck here we've already had a few nice ones out from here so just any extra messages for Scorpio for their special month their birthday month connecting with their energy emotional withdrawal so we did see a little bit of emotions going on and as I said your relationship field seemed a little bit complicated I think would be a good way to say it and I'm thinking here the emotions are for some of you they are still being not necessarily disturbed but the energy field of them is quite 
it's quite pulsating. I can feel it. It's like it, emotions are still playing a main role in how you're reacting or how you're formatting decisions as the month goes on as well. And I think that you have to deploy some, yes, gratitude, but I think you also have to deploy some intelligence and some strategies in and around your opportunities that are there for you and to not miss the opportunities because it is easy to, especially when we're caught up in emotions that might be, you know, a little bit depleted or a bit sad. The waiting game and the heart chakra. So with the waiting game, it can be a timing event that comes into play and it can be in many different areas, but this is the wands and the wands are often associated with our career or our creative attempts in life. So even though we had all of this wonderful stuff up at the beginning here, these amazing pentacle cards which are around our career and finances, there could be a message that also says there could be a waiting game involved. And it may be about also bringing balance into the scenario. It could be that you are still waiting on the ideas that are coming to you and because if you don't connect enough through your crown chakra or cosmically or listen to synchronistic messages or psychic or intuitive messages you may find that you are held up a little bit with this waiting game the other card we got in was the heart chakra that's all to do with our love and relationship areas as well as the physical part of the body so some of you might like to make sure your heart is healthy we talked about that a little bit before with healthy eating, blood tests, get um, blood pressure done, get cholesterol done. But for others of you, this is moving into the emotional perspective of your heart chakra energy. And this has to do with relationships. And there is definitely something that some of you are feeling emotional about. And we can see that. This card here is often about leaving something behind. So I do get the feeling that some of you are going to choose to make changes in this month of November and it could be about leaving people behind or situations or ideals or relationships it could be career related but it could be a bit closer than that it might have to do with family and it might have to do even with your love partner so I think changes are on the horizon for you guys but again you're Scorpios this is what you're all about your whole sign is the cycle of birth, death and recycle or reincarnation. And your relationships are often convoluted. So the deeper we get into your energy field, into that November period and October period, the more intense these, these energies and situations will surface for you. Just remember we've got this wonderful 11-11 portal day coming up in November really tune into that for high cosmic energy including guardian angels including archangel raphael and michael as well who could come in and be with you on those days and provide you with great insight clarity strength and emotional support so there you are scorpio that is a big reading i trust that you have enjoyed it and that you find some of the messages really helpful within just remember this is one possible scenario of a timeline or an, an outcome. There are many possibles that once you know some of the information within a reading like this, you then have the opportunity to uplift or make choices and change the scenario as well. Especially around things like ideas or opportunities or finances and relationships and your emotions and how you deal with situations. So I wish you all the very best as we move into this new eclipse season and as we prepare ourselves for the journey into 2021. Remember to sub the channel guys, hit the notification bell. I love it when you leave your comments as does everyone else and I wish you all a very successful, prosperous November because that's exactly how your reading started out. Much love everyone. Feel that heart chakra energy and bring the love in. Namaste.